today on a 50 minute drive, I wanted to see how much of it I could do in autopilot versus me driving. The results were better than anything I expected. I started the timer on my phone before I hit the record button on the camera. So we're gonna jump right into the drive starting at three minutes. So one thing I'm gonna say that I am gonna do here is I am gonna do manual lane changes. So I'm not doing it myself. The car is making the change. Um, but I don't want to stay in the fast lane or the passing lane if I, you know, can, if I don't need to be. So when you see me do a lane change when it's like this, you saw that the blue lines never um, disappeared from the screen. So you know that the car still did it all on its own. Autopilot never got kicked off. So that still counts in terms of being able to do the whole thing on autopilot. So now let's uh, get up to um, the proper speed limit here. <clears throat> and we'll continue on. All right, so we're about to get onto the freeway. So I'm gonna do a manual lane change up here. It's gonna do its thing. You can see no, that it left plenty of good space there. And now we're in the right lane to actually make the lane change. So the next time I interact with the car will be to actually tell it to turn onto uh, the on-ramp for the uh, for the 160 or, yeah, what what is it, 512 up there? But here's the thing to remember though, guys. I, I have yet to touch the car. So we're at 16 minutes right now of uninterrupted autopilot uh, going down this road and because there's always been someone in front of me at a light or a stop sign uh, I haven't had to manually take over I mean this is just goes to show you I mean there's a lot of uh, it, it, I know a lot of people talk about it as really far out full self-drive and, and it is in a lot of ways but it's amazing just how far you can go I mean like I said 16 straight minutes so far I haven't touched the car in any way other than to tell it to change lanes which it did on its own when I gave it that command so we'll talk again up here in just a few minutes All right, so here's a time when I'm thinking I'm gonna have to interact, but we're gonna let the car go as long as it can here um, because this lane does kind of like go right into the merge. So I'll be curious to see what actually happens here. Um, now watch this, this car is coming in, so the car is gonna recognize it and stop. He's gonna just, wow, he's gonna go right on in there. Um, all right, so let's just see what happens here. Here we go. Let's see, will I have to interact or not? We're at 22 minutes right now of no interaction. I got my hands right here. Uh, it's gonna watch that car go. Look at this, it's gonna turn. Look at this, oh, it's put us right on the navigator on autopilot right there. I did have to even touch it. <laughs> what? So right from autopilot straight into navigate on autopilot. All right, let's get it up to the speed limit and uh, get out of here. Sweet, that was awesome. Good deal. So as soon as we get down here um, on the freeway, it's gonna just put us in that opposite, you know, get us in the right lane if it needs to. Um, wow, fantastic. I had no idea it was gonna do that. But look at this here. We got this big truck right beside us. Let's see how it handles this. Ooh, this is interesting. Look at how close we're getting. Is it gonna slow down? It's gonna slow down. Perfect. Okay. And so it saw the double cars there. And that's good. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna, um, well, let's see what's gonna happen here. We've got all these cars around us. The car wants to get over from behind this truck. What's gonna happen here? I still have not one time since we left or started this drive interacted with the car where I had to take over. Um, there it goes. It makes the lane change very well. Beautiful. <laughs> I did not think it was gonna do that took the on-ramp on its own and then put it into navigate and autopilot. Let's take a look at this lane change. There's the car, but still plenty of room and uh, did a great job on that. So, wow, that's cool. All right, well, one and a half miles here, we got our next uh, merge. Uh, well, we'll be watching it to see if I have to engage in any way. 
So um, we'll come back to it then. But looks like we're gonna zigzag back and forth behind the, by this truck. Take a look at this lane change. There was a car there, but plenty of space. So, wow, good stuff. All right, so now one thing you're gonna notice here is that the car knows we are in an exit lane that is not exit only, but it does exit. So we're gonna be able to stay right here in this lane and take this exit here to the right onto uh, 167. So here we go, there's that nice exit right there. Uh, that's perfect, handle that very, very well. And um, so again, we're at 25 minutes now, absolutely zero interaction with the car whatsoever. Other than I said, adjusting speed and telling it to do a manual lane change. When it still did the lane change, I just told it to do it. Let's get the speed adjusted to where I want it. Now, the next thing we're gonna see it do is it's gonna get over here. It may stay in this lane or it may decide to jump into the passing lane depending on how quickly the cars are moving up here. But again, it's, it's all on its own. Okay, we have seen now that the car has signaled that it needs to take uh, get in this lane. See how it's got that gray line there uh, showing the lane it wants to be in. Upcoming lane change is your chance to cancel. We have one mile into the exit. There we go. It signals where it wants to be. Let's take a look at it. You can see that we've got lots of space between the vehicles. It pulls right in perfectly and we're ready now for the exit. Again, blinker turning, the, uh, the acceleration, the braking, all that was done completely by the car, not me at all. Again, if you're doubting me, that's all you know that because this is lit up blue and that line is blue. Those would not be blue if I had in any way messed with the car's decision making. So we're gonna go up here then and uh, we're gonna take this exit here in just a second and what we're gonna be watching for here is obviously does it take the exit, which I have no doubt it will, and then how well does it merge back onto the freeway after it does. So we're we're still set at the right same speed limit as before. Um, that car exiting slows down a lot, uh, you know, but so we're gonna take the exit right now. So watch right here for the gray line. That's gonna show us the lot, there it is. And uh, now it's gonna follow that path. Boom, set our max speed to just five over. I'm gonna adjust that back up to 65. Um, when you take an on or on ramp or, or an exit ramp, I guess like this, like we're going between two freeways, it just knocks you down to 60 no matter what speed you're at. So you gotta really manually adjust it there. It doesn't know a speed limit here. There's no, as you can see, well now they've added it back. So um, now it knows we're just going five over here. So you can see up here, there's a two lane freeway or highway called Highway 18. And uh, it's a, this is a fairly quick ramp. By the time we come close to the road where we can actually merge on, it gets pretty, uh, it's not a lot, a lot of space. So um, the car is gonna have to make a fairly quick decision up here, but I think it's gonna handle it just fine. The question is, will it slow down or accelerate? And you can see that it's seeing this car, that's why it's dark gray, and it's gonna uh, decide to, well, it doesn't have to do anything. It just kind of pulled right in there. So no problems there. So let's just continue on this route then. So let's, let's recap, I mean, we went completely full way on a, uh, main arterial it automatically took the turn uh, because the road just turned into it um, up for the on-ramp and it made that sharp 90 degree turn onto the on-ramp without any problem that automatically turned on to navigate an autopilot okay it merged from uh, 512 onto 167 highway without any issues and then from 512 now onto highway 18 without me engaging in any way I, just so you guys know just I have not yet in 34 minutes one time had to uh, disengage autopilot to take over for this car. So works worked very well. Now see, we're trying to get over here, um, but we can't because there's a van right there, right? So we got the blinker on, but because this guy's there, it can't actually make the turn or get over. And I don't really know why, to be honest with you, why it is because there's no one in front of us. The car shouldn't be um, actually getting over. So what the thing is though, once it starts, it doesn't pull out of it. Like, so now we'll get over, but then watch this. It's gonna tell me then right to get back over again if it does what it usually does, which, which see now look at this. Now it wants to get back over, but look, now this car is coming zooming by us on the right hand side there, which it sees, you know, because it's red. 
So we'll wait till we pass and then we'll get back over again. And that's something I think is just really weird, kind of quirky right now. And, and watch this, we're gonna get over here. It's gonna go, oh, I don't like this lane. The car is going way too slow here because of the van up front. I wanna get back over. So now the car is gonna come back over again in just a second and uh, and tell us to turn lanes unless the van starts going faster that's what's going to happen here shortly because again we're on mad max mode which means that we're going to do whatever we can to keep keep up our max speed um, but we are going max speed now so it might not do it uh it just depends if the gap in front of us between us and the van is excel is expanding or contracting so we'll have to just see but uh yep still letting the car do its thing. And for those of you who are, are saying, yeah, but you would have drove differently had you not been doing this challenge. Um, yes and no. There was maybe one or two times when I would have done something differently. I was going to actually say something about it, uh, but it was but it was one of those things that's just kind of like a preference thing. Like I would have gotten over um, a little bit sooner a couple different times, but it really didn't make any difference for the drive. Um, and like that right there is kind of a weird thing. Like, you know, it turned on the blinker there. Um, during that exit ramp. It always does that there for some reason. That's just like a flaw, I think, in the in the autopilot system or the mapping system. I'm not sure which one would really take the blame for that in that particular situation, but uh, I think it kind of thinks that it's too far on the exit, and so it like turns back onto the highway, and so it puts that blinker on there. But um, anyway, whatever. So let's keep on. You know, I just want to point out really quick here that that is the fifth time I have passed somebody on the side of the road bending over their engine in their car. And I mean, <laughs> that's just something we don't have to worry about inside a Tesla or electric car for that matter. So we're looking like here we might have an interaction with these cars when we merge especially this one so what we're gonna be watching for here is does the car nah we're gonna be going too fast looks like um, but the car has to make the call do we slow down or accelerate and it looks like uh, we just kept to our speed and let the car come in behind us so nothing really to change there All right, so here it comes to the end of our Navigate on Autopilot excursion. Here's the exit. Watch for the exit signals and everything to happen. There's 600 feet where it's gonna tell me to uh, take over or at least where it's gonna switch into regular autopilot. There it goes. And this is where I'm gonna have to take over because we're gonna come up to a stoplight here and there's no cars there. We'll let it go to the very last second. Uh, actually, I'm gonna have to take over because we need to go to the right. So look at that i cannot believe it you guys we just went 45 minutes and 20 seconds um before i had to in any way engage with the car pretty cool right i mean i know that's not even close to full self driving we didn't test any roundabouts or you know have to stop at any stoplights ourselves or there and there's so much to go in terms of actually being full self driving but come on 45 minutes, that's a long time to go without having to actually steer or use the brake or the accelerator myself, blinkers, all of that. That's pretty cool. That's the closest I've ever felt to being in a full self-driving car. I hope you guys enjoyed that. This has been a fun, exciting journey. It's going to keep getting better. We're going to keep recording it and documenting it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. It would help me out so much if you would take a second and go down and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I wanted to take a quick second now and thank my Patreons for all your support. We are just getting started. Now we all like to buy awesome new accessories to protect our Model 3 and just make it that much cooler. So take a second and check out our amazing sponsors here offering you guys killer discounts right here on this channel. My goal is to every week do a rate this drive, do some kind of a Tesla vlog type video, and then more multiple times a month on Fridays do a review, unboxing, and a giveaway for you guys right here on this channel. You have Xtechnor offering you a 15% discount on products like windshield wipers and air cabin filters. You have the Rideshare Shop offering you a 10% discount on A through Z, anything for your Model 3, on products like power lift gates for your trunk to USB hubs and so much more. And lastly, you have EV Armor who champions protecting all those services in your car with amazing wraps like 
center console wraps to charging port wraps. And they also offer you guys, my subscribers, a 10% discount. To get those discount codes, just go down below in the description. You'll see their links, you'll see my code. Go to their website, enter my code in, you get to save money. Everybody wins. Don't pay more than you have to, guys. All right, I love you all. See you on the next one.